been a rough week. I think that's an understatement. But Alabama's in the search right now to try to replace the greatest football coach of all time. They've got to find a successor to Nick Saban. We're going to talk about some candidates that could be named head coach of the Alabama football program today. Welcome to the Bama Tailgate YouTube channel. Like and subscribe. Let's get this thing started. Roll tight, everybody. What do you say? Welcome to the Bama Tailgate YouTube channel. I'm Mick Gillespie. Follow at Broadcaster Mick on the socials. And again, it is a pleasure to have you guys here. Thanks for hanging out. It has been a difficult week seeing Nick Saban officially retire from the program after 17 amazing seasons. But now Greg Byrne and the athletic department are looking for the next head football coach at Alabama. That could happen as early as today. Let's talk about some of the candidates as this thing has dwindled down. Now, first off, Dan Lanning was the front runner from the start, and reports that he was in Tuscaloosa turned out to be false, or at least that's what he said. He was watching Born Identity. There's no way that he could be in Tuscaloosa interviewing for the Alabama football job. So take Lanning out of the mix after his conversation with – Pat McAfee, he says he's out. And reports right now say that it could potentially be down to three or four candidates. And let's talk about those. First off, Tommy Reese, Alabama's offensive coordinator. He's 31 years old, a young guy with a lot of experience. Kevin Steele retired just like Nick Saban. So he's the other coordinator. An uncertain future, obviously, if he doesn't get the head coaching job. Maybe the guy that gets the job is going to go a different direction. But sources say that he has interviewed for the job, and that would make a lot of sense. Is he ready to be the next head football coach at Alabama, the successor to Nick Saban? I don't necessarily think that that's going to happen. I think that, at best, he's a long shot. Dan Lanning, we just talked about Dan Lanning. Is he truly out of the mix? He said he was. Well, I just said, hey, like, he says he's out, he's out. I, I still tend to think that although he says that he's not going to be the next football coach, the fit would just be so good. I mean, think about his past as, an, as a graduate assistant at Alabama, defensive coordinator at Georgia, the ability to recruit his – comfortableness with the NIL and the transfer portal, which he's done really well at. Yeah, he's at a program in Oregon that's one of the big programs in the West, but a lot of the talent is in the South. And his name has popped up before with other openings, including Texas A&M. I'm not taking him off my list. I think that there's still a chance that it could be Dan Lanning. But even more so, um, I think that another guy from that same conference, that same area of the country in Washington, and Kalen DeBoer would make a lot more sense. He's at Washington. You don't have the resources to be a continual winner out there. You won't have Michael Penix back next season to run your offense, a guy that you had worked a long time with. You come to Alabama – you're going to have a lot of resources. And to me, it would make perfect sense for him going into a new conference in the Big Ten where he's going to be playing against much tougher competition than what he dealt with in the Pac-12 to make this move now. DeBoer has had success at different levels. He's been a very good head coach. But the questions that Alabama fans have, and I'm sure that you would have to ask if you were Greg Byrne, is, how are you going to recruit? A lot of people have compared DeBoer and a potential hire to Brian Harson, who came from Boise State to Auburn and struggled to recruit. I don't think that you can throw every single guy 
that doesn't have a Southern pedigree into the same category as Brian Harson. DeBoer might get it. Maybe he comes to town and jumps right into the recruiting game. There's no doubt that he's had to have recruited some of these players because you're trying to get the top talent. Now, that's here and there. That's probably the biggest knock on him. But he's been a winner, and he's coming fresh from the college football national championship game, beat Texas in the playoff. He's an offensive mind uh, coach and someone that I think would be a really good fit at at Alabama if you're not able to get uh, someone like Lanning. The other name that continues to pop up is Mike Norvell of Florida State. Great recruiter, had success at Memphis. Florida State went undefeated this year. He totally turned that program around, rebuilt Florida State. And uh, besides the game against Georgia, had a magical season. And the program at Florida State has been on the ascend since he got there. Would you want to leave Florida State to go to Alabama? Well, you got resources at Florida State. It's an easier conference to play in. And now with the college football playoff, you don't have to worry about being left out even if you go undefeated. I don't know what the relationship is between he and Greg Byrne. I feel like this one's more of a long shot just because of the fact that he's at at a place where he's got stability. And also the athletic director, Mike Uh, Michael Alford used to work at Alabama, and I'm sure the last thing he wants to do is not only lose the college football playoff spot to the Tide, but also the head coach. Now, another name that has surfaced that I just can't see coming to Tuscaloosa is Lane Kiffin, and it's not his ability to coach on the football field. I think that it has to do with some of the things that took place off the football field. Uh, the Joey Freshwater stuff, the immaturity, the the trolling texts. I just don't know that that would be a good fit for the University of Alabama. Would he go out and win football games? Sure. I mean, he's a great offensive mind. He does excellent in the transfer portal. But he's burned a lot of bridges in Tuscaloosa. I don't think that he'd even get an interview from what my sources tell me. He's not a very popular guy there. Didn't leave on good terms. So it would be, to me, an absolute shocker if it turned out to be Lane Kiffin. So if I'm handicapping this today, which I'm going to do, I'd say I'd put DeBoer and Lanning as picks one and two, Norvell three. And if Alabama doesn't get one of those three guys, then I would say that they're probably going back to the drawing board to try to figure out what their next move is. You guys tell me what you think. Obviously, we'll be keeping an eye on this. As soon as it breaks, we'll be here live to talk about the new coach. Saban has certainly had an impact on who Alabama is going to hire, and he plans on staying. He'll have an office at the university to help the transition and be a part of the University of Alabama. Hey, thanks for hanging out with us, guys. I want to tell you that the show is always presented by Pearl River Resort over in Choctaw, Mississippi. It's an hour and a half from Tuscaloosa, two hours from Birmingham. It's a short drive from most places in the state of Alabama or in the South. They have a Vegas-style sports book called the Time Out Lounge. It's amazing in the Golden Moon Casino. You can go in there and legally wager on your favorite sporting events. They have 20 TVs with every single major game on there, college, basketball, NBA, NFL playoffs, NASCAR, all of that stuff is there. They also have an amazing golf course known as Dancing Rabbit. It's the Augusta that you can play. It's the best course in Mississippi, one of the best courses in the entire South. Also, a spa. They've got the slots and the table games. Check them out for yourself at Pearl River Resort. And finally, we want to always talk about our good friend Chad Anderson at Modern Lending. Uh, Chad is a guy who has helped. Over 10,000 families get into new homes. He can do the same for you. When you call the number on the screen, you get Chad. And you know him from the channel. He's an Alabama grad, an investment consultant, and an Airbnb expert. At this, Chad is real. 
Find out for yourself, Modern Lending. Hey, thanks for hanging out, guys. Uh, fingers crossed that the Crimson Tide nailed down the higher. I think it could happen today, and we'll see who it is. But I think we're kind of in this list right here. And if it is, I think we're in good shape. These are three very solid candidates when you talk about DeBoer, Lanning, and Norvell. And if it gets outside of that, then uh, you know all bets are off. And we'll get on here and talk about that as well. And I'm still got my fingers crossed that maybe we pull off the miracle and bring in Kirby Smart. But maybe I'm just wishful thinking. Hey, thanks for hanging out, guys. And roll tide.